All right, I'm recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you boop, with another vlog. And uh, it's certainly been a while uh, since I've done any kind of vlogging, much less a driving vlog. Usually when I'm on the go, I'm doing uh, Facebook Live things. But uh, I noticed lately, for some reason, the, uh, the signal gets a little jumbled when I do them now. So I don't know if that's just uh, part of the app or if that's something to do with the network in the area or a little of both, I don't know. But I'm just starting to kind of pull back on those, maybe do them more when I'm home rather than on the go, which sucks because I actually like doing the Facebook Live. It's a lot of fun getting uh, real-time interaction and stuff like that while uh, while driving. So, but any in any event, uh, today I wanted to talk about uh, my friends Grace and Ryosuke from the Texan in Tokyo channel uh, finally hanging it, hanging it up, giving up on YouTube. Um, they just released a video, uh, I think it was technically yesterday or so, talking about how uh, they want to start a family and so they're uh, basically scrubbing almost their entire online presence to uh, to start a family and uh, to just you know go back to living a private life, get regular jobs again, stuff like that, and uh, you know I I'm sad that they're go that they're leaving, but at the same time I realize that obviously family comes first, real life comes first before YouTube, and uh, I'm just I'm, I'm glad that you know they're not going to get sucked up. To the YouTube system to where they feel like they have to make videos they have to do this otherwise you know they're not gonna get paid anything you know when it's difficult when YouTube becomes a job because you know YouTube always usually starts off as like a hobby just something you do in your spare time usually talking about stuff you're passionate about things that interest you stuff like that and uh, eventually once you start making enough money to be able to support yourself then people often you know just do it full time and rightfully so but you know sometimes people become a little too dependent on YouTube and you know they often rely on like clickbait titles and only doing a particular type of video a particular style of video talking about certain topics because they know that those are the ones that are going to pull in the eyeballs. Not necessarily because they like to talk about those things, but because people are going to watch and they know that they're going to watch. So, um, I'm just glad that uh, Grace and Yosuke never really did stuff like that. They did some popular trendy videos, but not really to that extent. So, I'm just glad that they got out of the YouTube system before that started to trickle in. So, anyway, it's kind of a roundabout way to say, you know, best uh, best of luck in starting your new family and uh, hope to uh, see you all again soon. In the real world, not just on YouTube. Uh, but anyway, this, this whole thing just kind of got me thinking. Uh, not necessarily about quitting, but just uh, just like my reason for staying on YouTube and my reason to keep going because you know like I said it just uh, it got me thinking you know at first it got me thinking you know maybe I should quit because I'm not really doing anything with the platform right now um, not really going anywhere it feels like uh, just on a bit of a hiatus even though I'm posting videos every now and again uh, but it just feels like I'm not doing anything on YouTube consistently and uh, just it makes me think well maybe I should just give it up I mean 10 years almost 11 was a pretty good run right um, but maybe it's time to hang it up and I thought about it and the thing is like I still enjoy making videos I still enjoy hearing from you guys sorry there's construction going on but I still enjoy hearing Michigan drivers. I still enjoy hearing from you guys uh, in the comments, and and I do miss that. You 
know, since moving over to the other channel. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of people saying like, oh, you shouldn't have moved, you shouldn't have moved, you had a good thing going, why'd you move? And I'm not gonna get into that whole thing because I have to keep on explaining that in every video because people don't, don't understand, you know. I just, you know, I did it because I wanted YouTube to become, to be able to supplement my income and I couldn't do that on my other channel, so that's why I moved to this channel. So that, that's the long and short of it. I'm not going to get into more details because that's basically it. So, but in any event, it, the whole thing just got me thinking, you know, maybe it's time for me to, to hang it up. But uh, the thing is, I still love doing what I do. I love making videos. The thing is, I just, I hate the YouTube system. I hate what it has turned some content creators into. And that is people just chasing the buck, chasing the money. And they think that posting these types of videos that a lot of people watch will get them a lot of views and therefore a lot of money, whether that's in AdSense or in sponsorship deals because some of these people will subscribe to you and so they can go to sponsors and say, hey, we have X amount of subscribers. We get X amount of views every month, you know. Why not cut us a deal and get us some money? And it just kind of goes from this, you know, being a hobby to being like a paid hobby to people just kind of losing their own morals over just getting a quick buck on YouTube. And uh, I'm, I'm glad that, you know, Grace and Ryosuke got out before it got to that point. Because, you know, they were talking about almost violating one of their YouTube rules of, you know, getting video footage of somebody without their consent, or somebody who was just simply unable to consent, to be more accurate. And, you know, it just got me thinking about the whole right and wrong of doing YouTube. You know, just whether you chase the buck or you do something because you love it. And uh, like, I want to make money on YouTube. I'm not going to lie and say that I don't enjoy, you know, seeing the payment history on, on AdSense, which isn't a lot, mind you, but to see it go from nothing to something is definitely something. Uh, but I mean, that's not my end all be all. That's not the reason why I do YouTube. That's not the end goal. You know, the money to me is just simply a means to the end. It's just simply a means for me to continue to, to do YouTube because, you know, to do YouTube takes time. It takes time to record the videos. It takes time to edit the videos. It takes time to upload the videos schedule them make sure the thumbnail looks right make sure you market it right because that, that's another thing a lot of a lot of youtubers don't really consider is the marketing and I I've experimented with like paid marketing and stuff like that before uh, one of my videos uh, the reaction to the uh, the Navy getting rid of the uh, Navy enlisted ratings that was an experiment in marketing on uh, on reddit and I got couple hundred hits off of that um, it could have been better but it was, you know I'm not used to optimizing tags and stuff like that via reddit so um, <clears throat> like I said it was just kind of an experiment but it did have some success but anyway I, I'm getting sidetracked the point is um, I still want to do YouTube and you know, I still want to do YouTube, I still want to interact with people on YouTube, I still enjoy that aspect. I enjoy helping people and I enjoy connecting with people on YouTube. I've made a lot of legitimate friends off of YouTube. Like actual flesh and blood people, not just, you know, fucking Skank Hunt 42 from nowhere Colorado. You know, like actual people who I've met in real life. And that is just that's the reason I do YouTube and sorry about the uh, the lens flare there so I just have to kind of do it like this until uh, we get past this sign here but that's the reason I do YouTube is to connect with people 
from around the world and to help people, whether that's through my tutorial videos on how to, how to, shit, sorry, on how to do stuff with certain programs, which by the way, I'm gonna be working on those very soon. Um, I just downloaded the new uh, CC 2017 suite from Adobe uh, that just came out, I think about, <clears throat> I think it was like, sorry, I don't throw some scratchy, but I think uh, CC 2017 came out like a week or two ago, uh, but I just now got got down to, uh, to downloading it. Because uh, I've I just been so busy with school and other things. Not YouTube, obviously, but, uh, <laughs> but other things. You know, a lot of big projects, you know, coming up that I have to focus on. But uh, in any event, I'm, I'm sorry this video is all jumbled and I'm getting sidetracked here. But uh, like I said, I, I enjoy helping people, connecting with people. Like I said, helping people either through tutorials like I said, are going to be coming back soon. Um, or just having them live vicariously through me. And that's not to sound egotistical and, oh, I'm so important, people want to be me. You know, it's just... I realize that YouTube uh, has this thing where people can just kind of feel like they're living other people's lives. Because um, I've done that before. I've done that with a lot of vlogger type people where I get to see what they get to see, what they see and uh, it, it can be a lot of fun and so I realized that some people watch my videos for that aspect um, and I just had a bit of a an identity crisis when I got out of the Navy because my videos had been focused mostly on traveling whether that's in Japan or visiting different ports that we'd hit, stuff like that. Um, it was always traveling. And I do like vlogs and stuff like that, just to kind of keep you guys updated on my personal life, where the channel's going, and stuff like that. And I figure, you know, maybe once, twice, three times a month isn't so bad, doing those sorts of things. Uh, but, you know, again, when I got out of the Navy, I wasn't traveling as much. I wasn't really traveling at all, because, um, in a way I really couldn't afford to because I wasn't getting those nice Navy paychecks every uh, every uh, first and 15th all right so I uh, took the camera off the uh, little holder here um, just because the lighting is god fucking awful we got a whole bunch of light coming in from this side as you can see wah, wah, wah. <laughs> but to finish my thoughts like I still enjoy what kept me on YouTube for 10 years. I still enjoy that aspect of YouTube, but I just become so mired with the whole aspect of making YouTube. I mean, ideally I want to make YouTube a full-time gig, but uh, I just want to kind of take it one step at a time and, you know, first transition it to a secondary source of income, maybe like a part-time gig, that sort of thing. And then as I get more money progressively, I'll be able to transition into a full-time job. And that's, you know, that's the plan for me. You know, obviously long-term. <laughs> and I may never get to that level, at least not on my channel. But that's just a plan that I'm going through right now to make videos that hopefully are interesting to people, make videos that I like, and it's just that kind of clash that's, you know, that I'm dealing with right now is that I like making videos, but sometimes, most of the time, the videos that I like to make aren't the most commercially viable types of videos or they're, or like they're only good up to a certain point, you know, and, uh, I've experimented with different types of videos just to see, well, maybe it's time to freshen things up because, like I've said in previous videos, I don't want to be known as the, the blank guy. You know, I don't want to be the Navy guy or the Japan guy or the tutorial guy. Although that one's not so bad. I don't mind teaching people. <laughs> that one I can live with. But uh, I just don't want to be labeled as a 
certain type of video maker. You know, I want to be, I want to have a variety of different videos. I want to experiment with different types of videos. And I enjoy that wide selection of stuff on my channel. And I think that's what, what I really like about it, is that I'm not pinned down to a certain genre or a certain niche of video making. But at the same time, uh, niche YouTube channels are, you know, one of the main ways, pretty much the only way really, to get noticed on YouTube. Uh, because you have to be focused on a certain topic, certain subject, niche, whatever, and just make like a bajillion videos consistently over time. And uh, <laughs> if anything, the re-uploads have taught me is that um, consistency doesn't really work for me anymore. So I'm um, not going to be making videos on a consistent basis anymore. Um, at least moving forward. That may change in the future, but for now, I'm not going to make videos on a consistent basis where it's like pinpoints like <laughs> at this time on a Wednesday, Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to release a video and it's going to be about this and whatever. Um, I just found that doing stuff like that doesn't really work for my channel. And it may work for others, I don't know. I'm not saying to just post whenever, because <laughs> posting consistently may uh, help your channel, but it didn't really help mine at all. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a rambly video, kind of went off topic a lot, but I just had a lot of things on my mind, and uh, I'm just going through a lot of stuff, and uh, if you guys are wondering, uh, today I'm going to be visiting a therapist to hopefully... Uh, get my shit in order or at least you know begin the journey to get my shit in uh, in check because I'm going through a lot of uh, I'm going through a particularly bad depressive episode right now um, it started while I was in the Navy and it just kind of cycled in and out like I would have months where I was just in a really bad state and then other months where you know I was happy to be alive and things were great and just cycle through and uh, it just it got worse when I got out because like I said I had an identity crisis I didn't really know who I was anymore um, didn't really know what I wanted to be or anything like that and it was just really hard and it's gotten to the point where I'm skipping class I'm just staying inside my apartment, just holding myself up, and uh, not going on YouTube, not really doing anything. And no, it's not because of the election. <laughs> just want to get that out there. I'm actually, if anything, I'm glad the whole thing's over by now. So uh, that's one less thing I got to worry about. Uh, but in any event, it's just been really rough for me. Like I've only. You know, I only really leave my apartment to go to school, go to work, go to the store to uh, get groceries and whatnot, and that's about it, really. Oh, and go to drive throughs to get something to eat sometimes. A lot of times. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's just been rough for me, so I decided to finally get some help about it. And uh, I want to do a video talking about uh, mental health in the military because I think it's a very a very important subject and I just want to talk about my experiences dealing with it um, it's not going to be a positive video um, but I still want to get that out there and hopefully uh, convince some people whether they're active duty or you know veterans if they're going through some shit you know go go seek help so, you know, even if my video only helps one person, that's, that's, that's fine by me. But in any event, I gotta get going. So, uh, with that said, this is the Andy San, signing off for now. Thanking you guys poop, for tuning into this video. However, however rambly and <laughs> tangenty it is, it has been. And, uh, for watching my other stuff, also want to thank you guys for liking.
a thumbs, comment, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.